Hello friend, I am Swamedi back to the new tutorial video regarding soil mechanics. If you are a gate aspirant as well as engine service aspirant or SSCJ aspirant, watch the video till the end, brush up your concept, enrich your knowledge. If you are new in my channel, subscribe the channel, press the bell icon for never miss an update because I am coming with this types of civil engineering related video. If you have not seen my last video, there is an i button, go out and check it out. So today our topic is kaolinite. So first, what is the chemical composition and then we talk about how it is formed, what is some example, what is its diagram and features. So if you are in hurry, so as per time step, there will be that will be given in the description, you just see according your time step. First we talk about the chemical composition. It's kind of high actual. This is a clay mineral. Its composition is Al2, Si2, O5, OH, whole 4. So this is its composition. By seeing something, will you will you relate something? There is a one part is SiO5 and another one part is Al2OH4. In last video, I talk about silica tetrahedral and octahedral. In silica tetrahedral, there should be SiO5. In octahedral, there will be aluminium, calcium, manganese, manganese iron, and definitely there is the OH. So this composition, by seeing the composition, it will clear that this these clay mineral kaolinite made by silica tetrahedral as well as octahedral that is why before starting the kaolinite i start the silica tetrahedral video he uploaded octahedral video so my humble request till if you are watching not watch this video first go to the i button first check it out the silica tetrahedral octahedral then come back this video if you see those my previous video then it, this chapter will be very fun for you and it is very easy chapter anyway so yeah um, by you watching this composition the one thing is clear this composition made by secret tetrahedral and octahedral okay number two how how it formed i i told you that silica tetrahedral and octahedral they are basically building blocks Silica tetrahedral ka jo building blocks hoga, this is this and octahedral ka jo building block hoga, this is this fine so basically this kaolinite is a layered structure layered structure means suppose first layer is silica tetrahedral second layer is octahedral again silica tetrahedral again octahedral that is known as a layer structure that is clear this is very primary thing i talk about how it's formed gradually i will go in depth so as i talk about this is a layer structure and this is a combine of s silica tetrahedral octahedral then from this concept from this concept i can draw the diagram i can draw the diagram so let's draw the diagram first This is octahedral, octahedral, silica tetrahedral, silica tetrahedral. So this octahedral is known as a gibbsite sheet and this is known as your silica building blocks or silica sheet. So you can tell in this fashion that kaolinite is such a clay mineral where octahedral and silica tetrahedral are arranged by themselves alternatively. Ea blik saktio. What do you mean by kaolinite? Iske saad aur ek cheez mein batana chata hu. Kaolinite, sometimes known as a China clay. Don't na, don't confuse. It's not like a China product. These diagrams or these kaolinite structure thickness is 7 armstrong armstrong means 
10 to the power minus 7 mm. For microscopic view, in clay mineral, these kaolinites ka dimension jo hota hai, that is 1000 Armstrong to 20,000 Armstrong wide and if you talk about thickness that is 100 Armstrong to 1000 Armstrong thick. So basically for single kaolinite its a thickness is 7 Armstrong but when it is present in the clay mineral then it is wide is 1000 Armstrong to, to 20,000 Armstrong and thickness is 100 Armstrong to 1000 Armstrong clear? joint what happened just guess in this joint what happened if i watch properly the composition there is oxygen there is a hydrogen just think about our hydrogen bond hydrogen bond ka concept kya tha? this is your hydrogen he is very much confused bhai main kiske paas jaunga is oxygen ke paas aunga aur so hydrogen is very much confused. So there is four hydrogen and five plus nine oxygen. So that is why this every layer there will be a strong hydrogen bond is exist. That is why we talk about features of kaolinite. As hydrogen bond exists in the layer, that is why. The structure is very much stable. This is stable. That means difficult to separate due to why hydrogen bond. If as it is very much stable, that is that is why swelling of kaolinite is very much less when kaolinite is wet by water. So if there is water, then why said no swelling happen a push sector there is a logic cause i draw a just one structure in this structure in this structure there are some negative ions for this negative electromagnetic charge for this negative electromagnetic charge water particles they are absorbed or you can say they are attract the water particle and they are attract the water particle this whole system is turned to plastic or you can say they producing the plasticity they are producing plastic they are producing plasticity phenomena as plasticity is generates there means high shear strength that means more stable so what is the logic Logic is that swelling kam hota hai. Swelling kam hota hai matlab jab water ke water aane ke baad e kaolinate wet ho jata hai to isko swelling kam hota hai. Kyun swelling kam hota hai? Na swelling kam hota hai sir in this structure in this structure there will be some ele negative electromagnetic charge is present. Is there. So they attract basically water particles and hold this system and this whole system will see there some plasticity and due to due to this whole system they producing some plasticity that is why they are stable so that is the logic and now it's time to see the proper diagram i will show you two types of diagram first diagram is block diagram So yes, this is a diagram for block diagram, one octahedral then silica tetrahedral, again octahedral, again silica tetrahedral, again octahedral, again silica tetrahedral going on. And for same thing, if you are not draw the normally as per gibbsite silica, then you can draw in this method. Gibbsite silica, gibbsite silica, gibbsite silica. And in every layer, this every layer, there will be a strong hydrogen bond that is I am showing here HP same here the strong hydrogen bond 
I am showing in this fashion that's depend completely with that is depend on you how you showing this but hey, you have to show this hydrogen bond because it, this is very much important due to hydrogen bond this colloid is very much stable and less swelling and I talk about the seven Armstrong so what is the thickness of seven Armstrong the thing is that this is your seven Armstrong or you can say this is your seven Armstrong I hope that that cleared now I back to features so first feature it's a stable less swelling number two low cation exchange number three very soft color is white mainly but sometimes its color is pink orange or sometimes you will see red color due to presence of iron streak is white why what is streak streak matlab when a mineral in a powder form that color is known as streak hardness is 2 to 2.5 specific gravity 2.6 type of material brittle type of rock igneous sedimentary and if there's a igneous sediment third one should be metamorphic because metamorphic rock is mainly form from this sedimentary and this igneous rock due to weathering action pressure action temperature action i will start the building material i talk about in very detail in this topic so yes well that is from my side where i completely discuss about kaolinite structure in this kaolinite structure first i talk about its chemical composition and from chemical composition we can understand uh, there is a, some STH and there is a OH and then I talk about how it's formed in th then I talk about it's a basic diagram then I talk about how you write in exam what do you mean by kaolinite and other synonyms of kaolinite and I talk about its thickness and when it is present when it is found in clay minerals then I talk about the its white as well as its thickness and then I talk about its features as well as two types of diagram one is its symbolic diagram and there is a normal diagram and then I talk about again other features hope there is no doubt if there is doubt do comment in comment section I will definitely answer you if you think this video helps to you like the video share the video with your groups and still if you are watching subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for never miss an update because more knowledge more opportunity